Hello, I'm Rusadi Prisley. Welcome back. In this video, I want to share to you about serial communication between Sparkfun ESP32 thing and Arduino Nano. As we know, these two devices have differences in voltage level. Arduino Nano is using 5 volt and Sparkfun ESP32 thing using 3.3 volt. To get over this obstacle, you need a device that can shift 3.3 volt up to 5 volt or 5 volt down to 3.3 volt. This is called logic level shifting. So the spark fan ESP thing must be connected to low voltage bit on logic level converter, and the high voltage pin should be connected to Arduino Nano. There are 12 total pins on the bidirectional logic level converter. Two parallel rows of six headers. One row contains all of the high voltage or 5 volt input and output, and the other row has all things low voltage or 3.3 volt. The pins labeled H, V, and L, V, and two grounds provide high and low voltage references to the board. All right, let's go. Prepare some breadboard and plug in our device to this breadboard. And set the logic level converter between Spark Furnace P32 things and Arduino Nano. Place the logic level converter between ESP32 and Arduino Nano. I decide to use first channel on logic level converter and connect it to TX pin on my Spark Fun board and second channel to RX pin. Don't forget to attach ground on logic level converter to ESP32 board. And low voltage or LP to 3.3 volt on ESP32. Like this. Alright, now I wanna plug in my jumper wire from Arduino Nano to logic level converter. 5 volts to HV, ground to ground, TX to second channel, and RX to first channel on high level pin. Wiring diagram is must be like this. There are two channels that I'm not using. And we are ready. Normally, TX pin from Arduino Nano should be connected to RX pin on ESP, and RX pin from Arduino Nano should be connected to TX pin on ESP. But in this video, let's make some change. All right, open your Arduino IDE. You can download my source code from GitHub. You can see the link in video description. In the left side, there is a source code for Arduino Nano who's sending the data like um, this is the message from Arduino Nano and we can see I will select the Arduino Nano ports and open the serial monitor so this is a message from Arduino Nano that will be sent to ESP32 on the right side, there is source code for ESP32 and now I will open the port. So I'm using um, hardware serial library. So I can choose the UART interface pin manually. And on this video, I'm using zero UART pin. If you wanna know about your UART pin, you can check it on your board's description
So my Arduino Nano will send the data to my ESP32 and I can see the data from the serial monitor. I forgot to mention, you should to unplug your jumper wire on RX and text pin in your ESP32 and you can upload your code and then you should to put it back and the result must be like this alright my spark fun ESP32 now reading the data from Arduino Nano that's it I'm so sorry for my bad English I'm Rosalie Presley thank you very much